In this video, I will be discussing how to find the concentration of a base that contains a hydroxide. This video will be focusing on polyatomic subscripts, for example, calcium hydroxide. Before we start, let's look at an example to solve. The pH of calcium hydroxide is 12.1. Determine the concentration of calcium hydroxide. So since we have the pOH, we must find the pH. To do that, we must use this equation, 14 equals pH plus pOH to find the to find the concentration. But before doing that, we must rearrange this equation to find the pH. So here it is. So now let's plug the numbers in and solve. Since we have 14 minus, we have to put the pOH. pOH is 12.1. When you do the calculation, it turns out to be 1.9. After finding the pH, we must use another formula to get the concentration, which is concentration equals 10 to the power of negative pH. Then we must plug in 1.9 into the part of the equation where it says pH. After we have done that, when you get the answer, it might be close to this. But to find the actual concentration, there is a final step. So we must dissociate the base. So to remember dissociating, you have to balance the dissociation reaction. So you must put a 2 in front of here. And remember, after balancing, put the ratio at the bottom. So the ratio for this is 1. The ratio for this is 1. The ratio for this, though, is 2. Now what we do is compare the concentration to the ratio. So the concentration for calcium hydroxide would be 0.0126 moles per liter. Same for this, for calcium. But for hydroxide, since there is a ratio of 2, what we do is multiply the concentration by 2. So the answer to this question is 0 0.0253 mole per liter.